Good day and welcome to IQ Checker YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, drop your comments and share this video. It's totally free. Enjoy the quiz. Good luck. Question 1. Which of these will not affect photosynthesis? A. Light B. Temperature C. Carbon dioxide D. Glucose availability Question 2. How does temperature affect photosynthesis? A. Increases the rate at which enzymes work. B. Gives the plant energy to perform photosynthesis. C. Stops certain enzymes that interfere with photosynthesis. D. None of the above. And three, when it is chilly and raining outside, there is no photosynthesis taking place. What is the limiting factor? A. Rainfall. B. Carbon dioxide. C. Temperature. D. Concentration. Question four. What is a limiting factor? A. The factor which increases the rate of a reaction. B. The factor that limits the reaction rate. C. The factor that limits the rate at which an enzyme is destroyed. D. Answer not provided. Question 5. Increasing temperature can increase enzyme activity to a certain point. Then what happens? A. The enzymes have completed all the reactions. B. The enzymes have been denatured or destroyed. C. Nothing. The rate continues to increase all the time. D. No correct option. Please and please like this video, subscribe to this channel and click the bell button. It's totally free. Do not forget to drop your comment in the comment section. Thank you. Question 6. If a plant receives more carbon dioxide, what happens to the rate of photosynthesis? A. Increases. B. Decreases. C. Stays the same. D. Blows up. Question 7. How can greenhouses increase the rate of photosynthesis? A. Stopping rainfall affecting plant growth. B. Surrounding plants in the color green makes them more likely to photosynthesize. C. Controlling and trapping heat to increase photosynthesis. D. Plants are only given what they need instead of just taking everything they can find. Question 8. Which of the following would affect the rate of photosynthesis? A. Amount of water. B. Carbon dioxide concentration. C. Temperature. D. All of these. Question 9. A student is collecting the gas given off from a plant in bright sunlight at a temperature of 27 degrees Celsius. The gas being collected is probably dash. A. Oxygen. B. Carbon dioxide. C. ATP. D. Glucose. Question 10. 
If carbon dioxide is completely removed from a plant's environment, what would you expect to happen to the plant's production of high energy sugars? A. Oxygen will not be produced. B. Sugars will not be produced. C. The rate of sugar production will decrease. D. Fewer sugars will be produced at first, but then the plant will recover. Please and please like this video, subscribe to this channel and click the bell button. It's totally free. Do not forget to drop your comment in the comment section. Thank you. Question 11. What process is shown in this diagram? A. Reproduction B. Transpiration C. Respiration D. Photosynthesis Question 12. The rate of photosynthesis is affected by all of the following except A. The availability of water B. Light intensity C. Temperature D. The amount of salt Question 13. Which lettered graph represents the effect of light intensity on photosynthetic rate? Is it option A or B or C or D? Question 14. Which factor would not increase the production of glucose by photosynthesis in plants? A. Extra rainfall. B. Freezing temperatures. C. Increased carbon dioxide levels. D. Increased sunlight exposure. Question 15. Which lettered graph represents the effect of temperature on photosynthetic rate? Is it option A, B, C, or D? Please and please like this video, subscribe to this channel, and click the bell button. It's totally free. Do not forget to drop your comment in the comment section. Thank you. Question 16. The equation below represents a biological process. Where is this process completed? A. Ribosomes. B. Mitochondria. C. Chloroplast. D. Cell membrane. Question 17. From the options below, what is the correct equation for cellular respiration? Is it option A or B or C or D? Question 18. Which of the following identifies the relationship between photosynthesis and cellular respiration? A. Both processes generate energy for cell use. B. Both processes release energy for cell use. C. The reactants of one process are also the reactants of the other process. D. The products of one process are used as reactants by the other process. Question 19. The diagram below represents the relationship between photosynthesis and cellular respiration. The numbered boxes in the diagram represent which of the following? Is it options A or B or C 
और डी क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी प्लांट्स कैन परफॉर्म सेलुलर रेस्पिरेशन एंड फोर्टोसिंथेसिस ट्रू और फॉल्स We have come to the end of this video. Thank you all for watching. Other levels of this topic are displayed on your screen. Click on the next level of your choice to watch. Many other topics are available for biology and chemistry. Kindly check them out also. Special thanks to all the subscribers and if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please and please like this video, subscribe and touch the bell button. Subscription is free. Thank you.